some grapefruit, I've got orange, lemon, and I'm just taking off the skin off a nice fresh lime. So today's dish involves lots of cutting as in our citrus, and then we're going to be using some fennel bowl, which has got a wonderful aniseed um, flavour for those who aren't familiar with um, fennel. But the first thing we want to do is we want to get our fish on. So what I've got over here is some wonderful monkfish. Some of you will be familiar with monkfish because I use it quite regularly. Um, you could use any white fleshed fish, um, but it needs to be a wee bit firmer. So if I wasn't using monkfish, my next best choice would probably be um, groper, um, or if it was in Australia, barramundi, but a nice firmed fleshed um, fish. So what I'm going to do is just season it up on both sides. So we're not adding anything to the fish in this dish. What the flavour is coming from is the actual citrus and fennel slaw we're going to serve um, with it. So some flake salt on top as well. And then on goes some oil onto the barbecue. And on goes the fish. So while that's cooking away, I'm going to carry on with the, the citrus and fennel slaw. So I've taken off the skin. We now use a little paring knife. This little serrated one's great. And I'm removing each little segment of, in this case, the lime. So by doing this, we're actually removing any of the membrane that actually appears around the outside of the, the citrus. And it's making it free for us to actually to eat. It's also making sure we don't get any of the um, pith, or sorry, the pith in as well, or the, the actual seeds. And then we want to give it a squeeze to reduce any of that juice that's in there. So I'm doing one lemon, one lime, one orange, and one grapefruit, or a combination of those if you didn't have access to all of those. Tangelo would be fine. So this is a nice take on the traditional cold slaw, but we're using citrus and fennel. So give that a good squeeze each time. I'm going to have a look at my fish. So some nice colour on that, just how we want it. So again, this citrus slaw could be made ahead of time, and then all you'd have to do is barbecue your, your fish. So it's a nice, fresh way of serving it. Great with salmon. So if you didn't have uh, a white fresh fish, you could use salmon and put the salmon um, fillet onto the barbecue. Again, always remembering to squeeze out that juice because that's going to add some moisture and some flavour. Now the grapefruit have got lots of pips or seeds, so you want to be careful as you're removing the little segments that you don't get. You can see all those seeds there in the grapefruit. We don't want those going into our citrus slaw. So you've got to work your way around those. Sometimes you have to go back and pick them out. It just depends on how many are in there, and this is quite a one with a lot of pips in it. So I'm just going to go and remove a couple of those that are in there. The other grapefruit that's really nice with this is the ruby grapefruit. If you get the ruby ones that are in season, they work really well too. Right, so we just want to make sure those fatter pieces of the, the fish are cooked. Just have a tray here ready for when that... So, putting the segments into a larger bowl, and then I'm using the fennel bulb. If you haven't seen this before, um, this is the bulb with the fennel. Here's the actual the herb part of it. So we're going to be using the white part of the fennel. So I want to just cut the, the root end off, and some of that green at the top. And we'll do both of them. As I said, a real aniseed um, flavour to it. 
Just again, keeping an eye on our fish. You can see how that holds together. Some other fish would have broken up already. So I've got what's known as a little Japanese um, mandolin or slicer. Um, you can pick these up in the $2 shops in Japan and they're ideal for doing lots of thin um, slices. So again, you've got to watch for your fingers. So I'm just running that backwards and forwards and we're getting these wonderful thin slices of the fennel bulb. So you don't have to cook it, it can be cooked, but what we're wanting is that nice crispiness of the, the fennel. So we'll just get rid of some of that into there. Well, I'm just going to take my fish off, just put it onto a tray to keep warm, just at the side of the barbecue here. So it can just sit there while I continue with my fennel. As I said, you do have to be careful of your fingers. So once you've gone down as far as you can, just stop. So all I'm going to do now is moisten that with a wee bit of olive oil. And I've got what's known as a white balsamic, which is a bit like the, the balsamic vinegar, but it's a white balsamic. Uh, if you can't get a hold of that, just use um, some vinegar would be fine, like a white vinegar or a spiced vinegar. And we want to toss those together. And the last thing we want to do is want to add some fresh fennel. So I'm just taking the tops of the fennel and I want to give those a little chop just roughly. Again, it's going to add some green to it, but it's also going to add more of that fennel flavour. So we'll just get ready to present. So on goes our fillets of monkfish. And then all we do with our slaw, make sure we've got a nice mixture of all those ingredients. Drain it a wee bit and just pop our citrus and fennel sl slaw across the top. I'm just going to drizzle a wee bit of the juice and that dress across the top. And there you have it, our wonderful barbecued monkfish with our citrus and fennel slaw.